what drives our vehicles forward, and heats our rooms in cold winters, what keeps the huge factories running ceaselessly at high speeds. It all depends on energy. China's really hungry for a lot of energy projects. Globally, it uses a quarter of the total energy supply, a bit more than the US. We can say that it uses this large appetite so well, but this feat is also a threat to the US. What's this giant desert plan? Before we begin this discussion, welcome to this channel. Click on the subscribe button right away because you would certainly want more of these kinds of videos. Every day from sunrise to sunset, over 12,000 super mirrors will follow the sun to generate electricity every day. China has been investing significant resources, amounting to over 100 billion in the last decade alone, in tree planting efforts. And just a decade ago, Chinese President Xi Jinping introduced the concept of the Chinese dream, envisioning a prosperous future for the nation. The Chinese dream centers around the pursuit of national strength, rejuvenation, and the well-being of its people. Over the past decade, under the leadership of the CPC Central Committee with President Xi at the helm, the Chinese people have diligently worked towards realizing this dream, experiencing tangible benefits from the country's rapid growth and development. This prompts the question, how did the world's biggest polluter transform into the largest advocate for green energy? Does this initiative truly revolutionize the world? What exactly did they do right? Stick around till the end to find out. But before that, if you already like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts in the comments section below. In 1978, China initiated the Great Green Wall Project to combat the expansion of the Gobi Desert and to meet the timber needs of local communities. At that time, approximately a quarter of China's landmass was desert, and the Gobi Desert was expanding rapidly until recent efforts to curb its growth. In China's Gobi Desert, where the wind blows constantly and the sun shines fiercely for about 280 days each year, survival and agriculture are tough. Yet, these challenging conditions have led China to create something groundbreaking, a renewable energy factory. Covering an area roughly equivalent to 20 central parks, this project, when fully operational, will generate a whopping 16 gigawatts of energy, enough to power 1.5 million homes. But it's just the beginning. Across China's western and northern deserts, around 225 similar bases are being constructed. Together, they aim to reach a total power generation capacity of 455 gigawatts, with 60% from solar and 40% from wind energy. This ambitious endeavor will surpass clean energy production capacities in any other country outside China. A system of this magnitude could nearly fulfill India's current energy requirements of 455 gigawatts, equivalent to the combined green power generation capacities of the UK, Australia, Indonesia, and Brazil's total electricity capacity. Expected to come online within the next one or two years, China's initiative could significantly boost global renewable energy generation. As you may already know, deserts are ideal for renewable energy production, with abundant sunshine for solar farms and consistent wind currents for wind farms. China, with over one-fifth of its land covered by desert, is well positioned to harness these resources. China indeed has ample space to exploit, particularly in its vast desert regions, which are not traditionally valuable. Leveraging cheap real estate and abundant sand, the government has acquired large swathes of land to develop massive renewable energy facilities. This strategic move contributes to lowering the cost of solar and wind energy production. With abundant resources and space, China has the capacity to construct numerous cost-effective solar and wind power installations. In the 1990s, China recognized a lucrative opportunity in meeting Germany's increasing demand for solar panels. Capitalizing on proximity to raw materials and a well-established supply chain, China could manufacture large quantities of solar panels at competitive prices. While this benefited China's solar industry 
It drew criticism from solar companies worldwide due to government subsidies and incentives favoring Chinese manufacturers. In response, numerous countries and populations began imposing tariffs on Chinese-made solar panels in the 2000s. However, China embarked on developing its domestic renewable energy program, leading to a surge in domestic demand for solar panels and turbines. As China's economic and industrial prowess continues to expand, so does the need for renewable energy sources. China has built its renewable energy foundation by leveraging advantages such as affordable access to green technologies, abundant production capacity, and vast land suitable for solar and wind energy production. However, what's more intriguing than how China views these resources is why it is swiftly constructing them. The primary reason behind China's aggressive shift toward renewable energy sources lies in recent energy crises. In 2021, Beijing, one of the world's largest cities in one of the most influential countries, experienced severe blackouts. This blackout was not an isolated incident. In the past, coal shortages, exacerbated by the ongoing pandemic, have caused energy shortages, plunging parts of China into darkness. With over half of its energy derived from coal, China's energy vulnerabilities have become increasingly apparent, prompting a rapid push towards renewable energy sources. The drought exacerbates challenges for hydropower plants, impacting both the Chinese people and the economy, as the country grapples with dense and toxic clouds. Given the energy-intensive nature of industries, reliant on fossil fuels for quick and abundant energy, China's massive industrial sector strains resources, with a substantial population reliant on electricity, predominantly sourced from fossil fuels, pollution levels soar, tarnishing China's global image as a world power. Additionally, as the world's second largest oil consumer, China's heavy reliance on imports exceeding domestic production imposes a significant financial burden. Reducing dependence on external energy sources becomes imperative for China, driven by economic considerations, public health concerns, energy sovereignty, and international reputation. Embracing renewable energy offers multifaceted benefits, including environmental and economic advantages. China's strides in green energy production prompt reflection on whether other nations can emulate this transition and what lessons can be drawn. The shift towards renewable energy signifies a monumental change with global implications. According to the Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air, while China's fossil fuel emissions and consumption may not decline immediately, a trajectory towards stagnation and eventual decline is projected. This trend is attributed not only to evolving regulations, but also to the burgeoning renewable energy sector, encompassing technologies like batteries and electric vehicles. China's accelerated efforts to reduce emissions by 2030, five years ahead of schedule, instill hope that their goal of achieving zero emissions by 2060 is attainable. If a major consumer of fossil fuels like China can make such strides, it sets a precedent for other nations to follow suit. The proliferation of these new renewable energy facilities not only promises reduced air pollution within China, but also across neighboring countries and beyond. As China continues to expand its renewable energy infrastructure and enhance its technology, opportunities emerge for neighboring nations to access clean energy resources. Countries like Mongolia, traditionally reliant on coal exports to China, are adapting to China's green energy transition by exploring alternative energy sources. The vast potential for solar and wind power in regions like the Gobi Desert presents an opportunity for China to not only export energy, but also share expertise and materials for power generation with neighboring countries. Moreover, China's global outreach through initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative opens up opportunities for collaboration on renewable energy projects worldwide. By investing in infrastructure development in exchange for natural resources, China is fostering economic and technological partnerships with countries across the globe, particularly in the Global South. This initiative parallels China's historical Silk Road, aiming to establish new trade routes and strengthen diplomatic ties through mutual cooperation and development. Under the Belt and Road Initiative, China has the opportunity to construct green infrastructure in partner countries potentially boosting their GDP by over 4%, according to World Bank proponents. This initiative not only benefits the global economy, 
but also provides much needed infrastructure development for participating nations. However, critics have raised concerns about neo-colonialism, citing instances of environmental harm, displacement of indigenous communities, and human rights violations associated with the program. While China may extend energy and technology assistance to neighboring countries and allies, economic and political considerations likely influence such decisions. The trade-offs involved in improving infrastructure and accessing green technology raise complex ethical dilemmas. Furthermore, replicating China's domestic renewable energy success may not always be feasible elsewhere. Unlike China's concentrated renewable energy facilities in less populated Western regions, many countries have major cities located far from renewable energy sources, posing challenges in transmitting power efficiently. China is addressing this issue by developing high voltage power lines, but currently produces more renewable energy than it can utilize effectively. Ultimately, the transition to clean energy must entail the displacement of fossil fuels to be truly impactful. The United States, recognizing the urgency of addressing inflation, has allocated significant funds toward clean energy and manufacturing under the Inflation Reduction Act, signaling a commitment to combating climate change and fostering sustainable economic growth. Transitioning to acquiring all aspects of renewable energy production domestically in the United States, from resource extraction to manufacturing solar panels, wind turbines and batteries, holds the potential to lower costs, expedite adoption, and bolster energy independence. This represents a significant stride toward sustainable energy practices. Unlike many futuristic concepts in green technology, the Gobi Clean Energy System is not merely a theoretical idea or a startup showcase. It is a tangible, operational reality that continues to expand. China's rapid scaling of renewable energy production has reshaped the global energy landscape, doubling the world's renewable energy output virtually overnight. However, challenges persist, with fluctuations in carbon dioxide emissions indicating a complex interplay between renewable energy expansion and ongoing reliance on fossil fuels. The battle between renewable energy advocates and fossil fuel proponents echoes across the globe, reflecting the broader struggle to transition toward sustainable energy sources. As countries like China, especially the US, rapidly construct massive solar power plants, the outcome of this battle remains uncertain. Thanks for watching. Check our channel for more videos like this and make sure to subscribe for more juicy content. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and drop your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video.